Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing and drafting. In this episode, we're going to talk about writing tools for drafting. I still enjoy drawing and drafting by hand, and I know that when we use our hands, we engage the mind. There are a lot of options when it comes to drawing and writing tools, and you can do so with graphite or ink. Graphite gives you options with various hardness which enable the designer to manipulate dark and light in the form of shade and shadow. You can also easily remove mistakes and make changes. Ink, on the other hand, is more final but the quality of line is definitive and easily reproduced. Today, we're going to focus on graphite and discuss the different options. You can use a regular graphite or lead pencil, a lead holder, sometimes called a clutch, or a mechanical pencil. A regular lead pencil is probably what you're used to from school, the number two pencil, or Ticonderoga, if you will. The lead holder is actually similar to a regular pencil since the graphite size is the same and the point can be sharpened to the shape and size you need. You can achieve this with a lead pointer or even sandpaper. The mechanical pencil, on the other hand, is a fixed sized, which creates a consistent line thickness. And for the most part, the lead does not need to be sharpened. Proper use and a little maintenance are important with mechanical drafting pencils. First, make sure you use the proper size lead. Typically, the pencil will indicate the size lead it's designed for. For instance, this one takes a 0.5 millimeter lead, as shown on the side of the barrel. When you need to add additional lead to your pencil, remove the cap on the end. Under that, in certain models, you'll find an eraser. Pull that out and you'll see an opening to the inside of the barrel. Now, place the leads inside the opening. It's best not to load more than three pieces in at once. Then, replace the eraser and cap and begin to click until the lead automatically feeds out of the pencil. Although I do it when I'm in a hurry, loading the lead by feeding it in the front isn't recommended. These leads are delicate and I've broken more than a few. Lead holders work a little differently. You can load the lead in the back or click the button to open the clutch and load the graphite into the front. Some lead holders release the lead at one time, while others release it incrementally. There are lots of tools to use and learn, and lots of styles and techniques to practice and discover. But in my opinion, what's most rewarding is the whole process. It's about using our hands, which develops our minds, which makes us better designers. So thanks for watching and join us next time as we take another look at the wonderful world of drafting tools.